I just think that this has been um, a good success story in terms of everyone pitching in together to make something work. The five-year agreements for both HOAs comes out to about 800,000 total. And at the end of this budget year, um, the town will have contributed, if my math is correct in adding all these numbers, $22,710,617 of taxpayer dollars towards the golf courses. So I think that there's a significant amount of taxpayer support um, here. Up until the HOA agreement, the town had contributed $11,339,991 um, over 10 million of that was just in operating expenses. So that was just money that was not investing into the course, that was just operating expenses, not purchase price. And then when we got the agreement, we changed operators, we um, changed a number of different things, worked with the HOAs, had a membership drive, all those different things to make it a success. The town's contribution has been almost the same but it's been, we've been able to put almost all of that money into capital. So that's something that's a long-term investment that's gonna be able to pay off. And hopefully, once that capital's done, you know, it'll just be the payments being made on that over time. And so the, the, the taxpayer burden will be significantly reduced moving forward. And so I think that's a, a big testament to the work that everyone did to try and make these courses successful, to reduce that 10,327,000 operating cost burden that had been borne for five or six years um, by the council, or by the, by the taxpayers. So I think, I think that that's a good success story, and I'm happy to hear that there are people who are interested in continuing that. Um, I, I don't have any objection to giving more clarity about where the, the money is going that, to make sure that it's going specifically for golf. One thing Mr. D'Angelo said was, you know, sustaining and improving the courses. Improving is also the, the capital and all the investments that are going into them. Um, I have no objection to providing more clarity about that, but I do think personally that it would be nice if we just provided that publicly rather than having meetings with the HOA and going over detailed financials. You know, I think from my perspective, it would be best to just put out a report. Here's where we're spending that money so that it can be accessed by every citizen in this, in this community.